double check that we're working, that we're really live like we think we are. Ba -ba. Okay, and we'll wait just a minute. Let everybody get here, let us all get settled, and then we'll get started in just a minute or two. Yay, I'm so excited to see people joining us. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna assume it's working. If you can't hear me, let me know. Hey, Andrea. See lots of people watching. That's awesome. We're gonna give it just a minute or two because I was a little bit late getting this all up and running today. So awesome, I see so many familiar names and faces. So much fun. Hi, how's everybody doing? I love the bright sunlight. Hopefully the light behind me is okay, I think it is. Couldn't resist having some sunshine in here because it's about time, we need some sunshine. Yes. Brielle and Evelyn, hi. I'm so glad you're joining us this morning, I miss you. Yeah, looks like Abe might be watching. Hey, buddy. This is very, very, very fun. All right, what do you think? Should we get going? And if more people join us, as always, come on in, Logan, Emmett. Hi, guys. All right, oh, and Dad. Hi, Dad. Man, everybody, it's a party this morning. All right, <clears throat> let's get started. So good morning, everybody. How are you today? Good? Hanging in there? We're on like week three, so we got this. I am so glad to see you all here today for our story time. Leah, Mila, hi. We are going to get started. My name's Elizabeth, and I am a librarian at Loudoun District Library in Grand Haven. And every Friday morning, I do a story time. Um, I do story times for all ages, and this is going to be an all ages fun story time today because it's not Friday morning without a story time. So even though we're at home, I'm at home, you guys are probably at home, we're still going to get together and have a story time today. And our story time this morning is all about the season that it is and finally feels like out there. Is it winter right now? Not anymore. Is it summer? Not yet. Do you know what season it is? Hmm. Are you thinking spring? It is spring, that's right. So I'm really excited about that. So I have stories today all about spring things. Okay, but before we do those, let's get ready. We are going to get ready with our hands. Can I see your hands? You brought them with you today? Excellent. We're gonna clap our hands like this. We clap and say hello, we clap and say hello to all our friends at story time. We clap and say hello. All right, what about your feet? You stamp your feet? We stamp and say hello, we stamp and say hello to all our friends at story time. We stamp and say hello, yay! Last thing, we're gonna wave. So hello out there, everybody. I'm glad you're watching. Say hello to everyone in your house. Yes. And everyone out there in the other houses. We miss you all, friends. All right. Let's wave. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello to all our friends at story time. We wave and say hello. Hi, everybody. I am so glad you're here today. All right. As always, there's something in my puppet bag. Whoa. Today, it's something very big. Look at that. It hardly fits in my puppet bag. Maybe you're already guessing what it is. Well, I've got a letter for you. And do you know what letter that is? It's the letter B. That's right. So whatever's in my puppet bag starts with the letter B. Hmm. Hmm. What sound does B make? B, B, B. Oh, it could be birds. And we do have some stories about birds. That's a good spring thing. Or bunnies. Could be bunnies. We even have stories about bunnies. But I don't know. Do you think this is a bird? 
No. Do you think it's a bunny? Grrr. <gasps> Doesn't sound like a bunny. What do you think this is? Let's find out. You ready? Ugh. <gasps> ah! It's a bear. Hello. All right, we've got bear with us today to sing our ABCs. Will you sing along with me? Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Great job, everybody. You guys are great singers. I'm going to set Bear right back here because he is actually in our next story. Our first story today is an old folk tale. It's called Tops and Bottoms, and it's by Janet Stevens. She's who wrote this version of it that I'm going to tell, but it's a story people have told for a long, long time. And it starts like this. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a rabbit who just had a small plot of land. He didn't have very much space to grow things. But his neighbor, look who his neighbor is. His neighbor, Bear. Hi had a big plot of land. He had so much space, but nothing ever grew there because Bear was very sleepy. <sighs> and he didn't like to plant, he just liked to sleep. <sighs> well, one day, Rabbit was thinking to himself, hmm, and he came up with an idea. <gasps> What is it, Rabbit? I have an idea. Hmm, I don't know, what is it? Let's plant vegetables on your land. Hmm, sounds like a lot of work, I don't know. Oh, I'll do all the work, said Rabbit. I'll plant the seeds, I'll water the seeds, and when the vegetables are ready, I'll pick them all. Well, what do, what do I get? You can have half of the vegetables. And tell you what, you can even pick which half. Sounds like a good deal. So which half is it, Bear? Tops or bottoms? Hmm, I'll take the tops. It's a deal, said Rabbit. And off he went. Bear went to sleep. And Rabbit got to work. He planted the seeds. He watered the seeds. And when the vegetables were ready, he picked them all and ran back to Bear. Bear, Bear, wake up, wake up. What is it, Rabbit? The vegetables are ready. Well, that was fast. They're ready. Hmm, all right, I am pretty hungry. But remember, I get the tops. Of course, Bear, that was our deal. Hang on, I'll go get them. And Rabbit ran off to get the vegetables. <laughs> Here you go, Bear. I planted lots and lots of carrots. And you get to eat all the tops. <gasps> oh, Rabbit. The tops of the carrots are not very yummy. Oh, but the bottom half, my half, are delicious. <laughs> Thanks, Bear. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, wait a second. You tricked me. Let's do this again. This time, you do all the work again, and I get all the bottoms. Hmm, okay, said Rabbit. And Bear went to sleep. And Rabbit got to work. He planted all the seeds. He watered the seeds. And when the vegetables were ready, he picked all the vegetables and ran back to
to Bear. <gasps> bear, Bear, wake up, wake up! <gasps> the vegetables are ready! <gasps> oh, well that's good news, but remember, this time I want all the bottom halves. Of course, Bear, that's our deal. Hang on, let me go get them. And he ran off to get the vegetables. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh my goodness, he's got to pick a lot of them. Oh. Bear, look what I got for you. Some delicious broccoli. Oh, and you get to eat all the bottom parts. Crunch, 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 crunch. Oh, rabbit. The bottom part of the broccoli is not my favorite. I know, but the top part is so yummy. <laughs> Thanks, Bear. Pleasure doing business with you. <gasps> Rabbit, you tricked me again. Okay, this time, get back to work. And I want all the tops and all the bottoms. Hmm, well, okay. And Bear went back to sleep. <laughs> And Rabbit went to work. He planted the, the seeds. He watered the seeds. And when the vegetables were ready, he woke up Bear one more time. Bear, 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 wake up! <gasps> oh, what's going on? The vegetables are ready again! <gasps> oh, well, I am pretty hungry. But do you remember our deal? Of course, Bear. I get the tops. And I get the bottoms. You're not tricking me this time. That's our deal, Bear. Hang on. And Rabbit ran off to get the vegetables. <gasps> Here you go, Bear. I grew you some delicious corn. Here, try the tops. <coughs> try the bottoms. <coughs> oh, Rabbit. The tops and bottoms of the corn, the husks, these are not very yummy. I know, but the middle, my part is delicious. Thanks, Bear. Pleasure doing business with you. Wait, unless, do you want to make another deal? No way. I am done doing deals with you. Goodbye. And Bear went home. Rabbit, on the other hand, had so many extra vegetables that he took them home and he sold them and he bought his own plot of land where he could grow his own vegetables. And Bear, well, Bear got tired of getting all of the not so good parts of the vegetables. So he decided that he needed to plant a garden of his own. So he did. He got the ground ready. He planted the seeds. He watered the seeds. And when the vegetables were ready, he picked them. And he got to eat the tops and the bottoms and the middles. And that's the story of tops and bottoms. The end. Yay! Great listening, you guys. It's kind of a long one. You did awesome. I'm going to put Bear back here because he likes to watch our stories and we might be seeing him again. Now, have you ever planted a seed or a garden or maybe a flower? Yeah, it's a good time of year to start thinking about that. I have a song for you about it. So we're gonna pretend that we have a seed in our hand. Hmm, maybe a carrot seed, broccoli, maybe corn, flower. I don't know, but we're gonna pretend to plant it. You ready to play along with me? Plant a little seed in the cold, dark ground. Cover it up. Put some dirt on there, good. Up comes the yellow sun, big and round. Shine some sunshine on it. They need that. Down comes the cool rain, soft and slow. Give it some water. And up comes the little plant, grow, grow, grow. Let's see those leaves. Good job. All right, let's do it one more time. Get your seed out. Plant a little seed in the cold, dark ground. Up comes the yellow sun, big and round. Good, time to rain. Down comes the cool rain, soft and slow. Up 
comes the little plant. Grow, grow, grow. Good job. Very nice. All right. Well, spring is a good time to get out and do some walking and some hiking. And we are going to go on a bear hunt. So another old story. This one's from a book called Michael Rosen, the version that I like to do. And we're going to pretend that we're walking down the road. Can you do this with me? Get a beat on your knees like we're walking. Or if you want to stand up and march and you want to get some wiggles out, sounds good to me. But I'm going to do this. Ready? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. You ready? Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Can you do that? Through the grass. I don't see any bears, do you? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a river, a deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. You ready to swim? Splash, 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 splash. Swim along with me. Splash, splash, splash. Hmm, let's keep walking. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a forest, a deep, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We've got to go through it. Oh, and there's lots of sticks, so we're going to stumble trip. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. See any bears? Hmm, no, I know. We better keep walking. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, mud, thick, oozy mud. Well, we can't go over it. We can't go under it. Got to go through it. Ready to squish through the mud? Squish, 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 squish. Ooh, do you see any muddy bears? No. All right. What are we looking for? Where are we going to find this bear? Let's keep trying. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh. A cave, a narrow, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. You guys, we've got to go through it. Are we scared? A little? Let's tiptoe inside, ready? Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. <gasps> What's that? Uh-oh, I see two eyes. <gasps> And a big wet nose and two furry ears. What is it? Oh no, it's a bear. Quick, run out of the cave. Run, 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 run. Through the mud. Squish, 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 squish. Through the forest. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Through the river. Swim fast. Swim, swim, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish. Through the tall grass, ready? Is that bear still behind us? Oh no, run to the door. Open the door. Run upstairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. Run back downstairs, ready? Shut the door, boom, back upstairs. Into the bedroom, into bed, under the covers. We're not going on a bear hunt again. Maybe. Maybe. And that's the end. Yay! Good job, everybody. Oh, man. That was a crazy bear hunt adventure. Now, we've talked about bears. We've talked about bunnies. We've talked about lots of stuff that starts with the letter B. 
I have one more thing that I was thinking about earlier, which is birds. Because in the springtime, I hear a lot of birds singing and birds building nests. And this is a rhyme called, a nest is a home for a bird. Can you make a nest with your hands? Kind of like a little cup. Yeah, like that. It goes like this. A nest is a home for a bird. Now, can you go like this? Put your fingers together. Ooh. A hive is a home for a bee. Mm -hmm. A hole, yeah, make a circle. A hole is a home for a bunny. And my house is a home for me. Yeah, good job. Let's try it one more time. Get your nests out. Good work. A nest is a home for a bird. A hive is a home for a bee. Can you buzz? Buzz. That's right. A hole is a home for a bunny. And my house is a home for me. Yay! All right. Another bird song, bird story. This one's kind of a story and a song. It's an old folk song. There's probably a lot of books of it. We're going to sing it. And it's called The Green Grass Grew All Around. So for this one, there's a chorus, a part of the song that sings over and over, and you guys can help me. Can you learn it with me? Okay. It goes like this. And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Pretty simple. Wanna try it one more time with me? All right. And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Perfect. So this story starts out with a big hole, a hole in the ground like this. There was a hole in the middle of the ground, the prettiest hole that you ever did see. The hole in the ground. And here we go. The green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. This is where it gets interesting. Now in that hole, wait for it, there was a tree, the prettiest tree that you ever did see the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grew all around all around and the green grass grew all around now on that tree there was a branch the prettiest branch that you ever did see the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole in the hole in the ground and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Good job, guys. And on that branch, oh boy, there was a, what do you think this is? What do you think's gonna be on the branch? Oh man, it's a tricky one. There was a nest, the prettiest nest that you ever did see. The nest on the branch and the branch and the tree and the tree and the hole and the hole in the ground. And what do we say? And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. What's going to be in the nest? Now in that nest, there was an egg. The prettiest egg that you ever did see. The egg in the nest and the nest on the branch and the branch and the tree and the tree and the hole and the hole in the ground. And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Now what's going to be inside that egg, do you think? Hmm? Now in those eggs, there were some... <gasps> what are those? Some birds. The prettiest birds that you ever did see. The birds and the eggs and the egg and the nest and the nest on the branch and the branch and the tree and the tree and the hole and the hole in the ground. And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Yay! Very nice, you guys. This might be my new look, I don't know, but I think I'm gonna take it off for now because I have just a couple more things to share with you today at our story time. So springtime, I like to go for a lot of hikes. And the other day I went for a hike and I heard some interesting sounds in the woods. I heard something that sounded like creak, 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 creak. And I heard a beep, 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 beep. 
lots and lots of them. And guess what they were? Frogs! So many frogs come out and sing in the spring in the woods. And it got me thinking about frogs. And a song that I really like about frogs. Do you know how many frogs are in this song? One, two, three, four, five frogs. You might know this song. It's called Five Green and Speckled Frogs. So your fingers are the frogs, and then they're gonna be sitting on a log like this. You ready? Five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are how many? One, two, three, four. Now there are four green speckled frogs, ribbit, ribbit. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, hmm, count them with me. One, two, three. Now there are three green speckled frogs, ribbit, ribbit. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are hmm, one, two. Two green speckled frogs, ribbit, ribbit. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog, ribbit, ribbit. One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are zero, no more green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Yay! All right, speaking of frogs, we have one more story for you today. Now, have you ever done a dance called the Hokey Pokey? No? A lot of you have. Have you ever done a dance called the Crokey Pokey? No, it's a little bit different. So this one is from a book by Ethan Long called the Crokey Pokey. And in this story, this song, we get to pretend to be the frogs. So let's practice. What's the frog say? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Nice. How does a frog move? It hops, right? It goes hop, 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 hop. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, how does a frog catch flies? How does it catch its food? with its long sticky tongue. It goes mm -hmm. just like that. All right, you got it. You guys are gonna be excellent frogs, I can tell. So the croaky pokey, we're gonna start with our hand, even though frogs don't have hands, but we'll work with it. You got your hand ready? You put your hand in, you put your hand out, you put your hand in and you shake it all about. Now we hop. We hop the croaky pokey and we chase the fly about. Uh oh, can you catch it? Right in the froggy's mouth. Try to get it. Oh, bzzz. Oh, we missed it. All right, let's try with our foot, our leg. Ready? You put your leg in, you put your leg out, you put your leg in and you shake it all about. Hop. We hop the croaky pokey and we chase the fly around. Bzzz, right in the froggy's mouth. Can you get it? Bzzz, oh no! I missed it again. All right, just getting serious and silly. You ready? You put your backside in, you put your backside out. You put your backside in and you shake it all about. Ready to hop? We hop the croaky pokey and we chase the fly around. Right in the froggy's mouth. Ooh, 
Oh no! Better luck next time. All right. How about our heads? You put your head in, you put your head out, you put your head in and you shake it all about. You hop the croaky pokey and you chase the fly around. Right in the froggy's mouth, try to catch it. Oh man, what a tricky fly. All right, whole self, you ready? You put your whole self in, you put your whole self out, you put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You hop the croaky pokey and you chase the fly about. Right in, are you gonna catch it? Right in the alligator's mouth. Jump, oh my goodness, an alligator got it. That's what it's all about. Yay, yay! Great job, frogs. Oh man, what a story time. I'm so glad that you were all here with me today talking about spring. Maybe today or soon, you and your family could go on a walk around your neighborhood or in the woods and look for signs of spring. Maybe you could hear frogs or see flowers. Maybe you'll even see some flies buzzing around or some other animals, some birds or bunnies. Or maybe you could go on a bear hunt, go swishing through some grass, maybe squishing in some mud. I've got a little mud going on in my yard. And you know what I've seen? I've seen a lot of windows that have teddy bears in them. Have you seen those in your neighborhood too? So maybe on your bear hunt, you might even see some real bears. Whatever you do, I hope it's really fun and I hope you get out there and enjoy this beautiful weather and enjoy just getting out of your house a little bit. But thank you for joining me in your house today. We are gonna wave goodbye because it's the end of our story time. Um, but I hope that you join me next Friday at 10 and every Friday at 10 while we have to do this. So I'll be here, I hope you will be too. You ready? Goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'm glad you came to play. Yay! Bye, everybody. This was fun. I'll see you next time. I miss you. How do I end it?